My friends, what's going on? It's nice to see you guys again today. I'm super excited, guys. I'm talking about one of my favorite niche brands in the world, Primera Perfumes. They are out of Kuwait. I'm here to discuss with you two brand new releases. I also wanted to follow that up with a top five list of sorts. Stay tuned, this video is gonna be really fun. You're gonna enjoy yourself. Sit back, grab a beverage and some popcorn and let's do this. Last year at Scent Explorer, I had the pleasure of meeting the owner, Bader, in person. And man, let me tell you, I was blown away. I was really blown away by the uh, the quality. Not only that, Bader's just a humble, down-to-earth dude and uh, yeah. I just really appreciated getting to know him and everything. And uh, yeah, I've done videos, plenty of videos about uh, Primera in the past. And that's why we're here to talk about his new releases. I also wanted to cover some other fragrances with you. And uh, speaking of Scent Explorer, all Scent Explorer info is going to be linked down in the description above. I'd love to see you in person. But hey, if you can't make it in person and you want to attend virtually, that's great. Also, back to the video, let's talk about these two new releases. So we have La Dolce Vita right here, which translates to The Sweet Life. And we also have Rivera Paradise right here, right? So the, the box presentation is pretty similar, right? So you have this sleeve here, pulls off like that. It um, there's I have both fragrances out in front of me. Actually, only one. I have the other one still in the box, but we're going to change that. You open up the box, you get a nice little... Uh, thank you card and you also get a note card as well so it tells you the notes which we'll cover here in a moment same presentation for la dolce vita slides off the only difference between the two boxes are the uh is the artwork you can see the differences there this one kind of italian themed you know and then this one just has a uh I don't know, it looks like smoke or ink or something. I don't know. But your bottle sits nice and comfortably here. And what I really like this time around is they come in 50 mil bottles. So I prefer 50 milliliter bottles over 100 mils only because I know that I'm never going to go through uh, 100 milliliters of juice. It's it's a rarity when, uh, when, when I do complete an entire bottle. So I really like that. The note cards are going to come in handy right now as I'm going to talk about the first fragrance here, Riviera Paradise. Beautiful bottles. I love the wooden cap. And uh, yeah, just nice attention to detail. These spray great. These smell fantastic. They are beast mode, strong fragrances as all of Primera perfumes are. This one right here is a beautiful, bright, citrusy cocktail with also a bit of a kind of like a fruit compote uh, thing about it when it starts to settle down. It sort of reminds me of a, of a fruit compote. It gets a little bit jammy, syrupy with the different citrus fruits that are used here. Also, you're going to notice rose is a note here, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, damask rose you have here. So it's... There is a rose presence here, yes. There's also many different florals kind of accompanying this fruit compote smell that I'm getting. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I appreciate it because most of what I tried from Bader's uh, catalog, Primera's catalog, I'm, I apologize, are mainly on the dark side. Now, this fragrance here is fresh. It's bright. It's zesty. It has that way about it. But then, you know, like I said, the fragrances are complex, so you're getting all different nuances. At times, it's bright and citrusy. At other times, you get more of that syrupy fruit compote type of thing going on. There's an amber accord in here, which adds a nice bit of warmth. This is a dense wearing fragrance, by the way. It does wear pretty heavy. It was my scent of the day today. I was sure to only do three sprays. That's all I did. Lasted me 10, 10 hours. I really stopped paying attention to it right around that 10 hour mark. I knew that I was going to be doing this video, and I know how much you guys like to know about how uh, fragrances perform, so I definitely wanted to throw that out there to you. You also have a bit of patchouli in here and some woods, just adding a nice touch to the base, you know, just a, a nice slight woody effect. This one here is unisex. It does not strike me as, like, it, it leaning one way or another. It's just, if you're a man and you appreciate scents like this, you're really going to like it, um, perhaps even love it. And the same thing goes for ladies. For me personally, I love this fragrance. I really, really love it. And as Bader keeps putting out his creations, 
his perfumery is getting better and better and better in terms of his skill. You can really see the skill coming through. The uh, the quality of materials he uses are second to none. They are just fantastic quality. And I yeah, I really do love his creation. Yeah, this is an absolute love for me. I really love this fragrance and I hope that you guys do try it, get a sample of it, check it out. Also, if you didn't know, and I should have mentioned this in the beginning, Bader did launch his uh, own website. So Primera Perfumes website is live and is happening. So definitely stay up to date and I will touch on that a little bit more as we go on throughout the video. All right, so moving on to the next fragrance, we're going to be talking about La Dolce Vita, The Sweet Life. So this one I actually put back in its box. So there's the notes right there. And then here's the uh, the thank you card that I was talking to you about. You know, thank you. Enjoy your fragrance. Primera Perfumes from uh, Kuwait. Man, this, this fragrance here is something else. Dates, lavender, pink pepper. I sprayed that one. Pink pepper, tobacco, Uda Sam is in here. Beastly, beastly sprayers. Now let me tell you. This fragrance right here is nuclear, okay? This is going to overtake this room. I'll probably be smelling this fragrance in here tomorrow. That's no lie. It's so good, man. The dates, the nutmeg for, uh, for spice. You get a, a little bit of lavender. The lavender here is a little bit more like on the uh, on the cooling side. Sometimes I talk about how lavender can have a cooling effect to the to the nose the way that I perceive lavender. And that's the effect that it has here. You have geranium. You have tobacco. The tobacco here is going to be earthy, leafy tobacco. Reminds me of something like a cigar. It has that kind of like cigar tobacco smell to it. Very, very nice. You also have sandalwood here. It gets woody. So you can see the different transitions. It's spicy. It's tobacco. It's oud. The oud here, his ouds. Let's talk about his ouds for a second. They're super clean. They're a clean oud. They're, they don't really have an animalic funk to them at all. Not in this fragrance. There is one where I can pick up a little bit of funk, but this one, no, not at all. Very clean oud, just adding a nice kind of darkness over the fragrance. And you have to tolu balsam that adds a bit of a balsamic quality here and an amber accord for warmth. This is a dark, complex fragrance. I can totally see this uh, uh, as a uh, dressed up sort of night out on the town type of fragrance where you only need two sprays. Don't go any more than two sprays. You're going on a night out. It doesn't matter if you're in a big open environment or in close proximity of one another. Um, you don't need much. You don't need many sprays with uh, with Primera fragrances, which is another reason why I love 50 milliliter bottle choices, because since you don't need many sprays with this fragrance, these fragrances, a 100 milliliter bottle is going to last you forever. Like you're never going to go through an entire bottle of, uh, of Primera perfume fragrances unless you just choose one fragrance to be your signature scent. If you are a lover of tobacco, you need to get your nose on this. If you love oud and you like your ouds to be a little bit more on the cleaner side, you need to try this. If you love dark fragrances, you need to try this. You like spices and things of that nature. This is going to be a perfect signature scent for you in the fall, in the winter time. I didn't talk about seasons with Riviera Paradise. This is going to shine in um, for uh, spring and summer. Be Again, be mindful of the sprays, even with this one, even though it's on the brighter, fresher side of things. You want to be mindful of your sprays on this one also because, again, his fragrances do wear thick. They wear dense, so they're made to cut through the heat and cut through the cold. That's the way that they are uh, perfumed. So, you know, just bear that in mind. But it was 86 degrees today. I wore Riviera Paradise. No problem. This was no problem at all. But again, they do wear heavy. So I just wanted to point that out. That is my uh, double feature review on Riviera Paradise and La Dolce Vita, The Sweet Life. Not so sweet. So The Sweet Life must mean like sweet as in good. Because um, other than like date that, that add a, a bit of kind of like a, 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 a syrupy molasses kind of fruit quality, this isn't very sweet in terms of taste. So there's uh, there's that. But yeah, again, nice contrast between bright with uh, Riviera Paradise and uh, in dark with 
La Dolce Vita. So the the uh, the top five. So I've left these two fragrances out of the uh, top five intentionally to talk about five other fragrances from the brand that you need to get your nose on. The first one that I'm going to be talking to you about is Lavender Touch. Lavender Touch, if if you are into the idea of soapy, clean, spa, botanical type of lavender, you absolutely have to get your nose on this. It smells like the most realistic bath bomb is kind of what comes to mind. This was for many, 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 many months my girlfriend's signature scent. I was told to stay away from this one. She wanted um, to have this um, for herself. There's about 40% of this bottle left, and that goes to show you, and we picked this one up last year at uh, Scent Explorer because she absolutely loved it. I purchased it for her. Lavender Touch, guys, if you want, like I said, if you want a clean, soapy, um, botanical, spa-like experience, and you love lavender, you must must get your nose on this one. It is really, really great. The next fragrance that I want to talk to you about um, from the brand of Primera Perfumes is London. London is amazing. London is all about oud, spices, lavender. Now, the lavender here is, is it comes across to me as cool. It has that cold lavender type of smell to it that I described um, previously. Now, you have spices here. The spices come across as cold to me. So we have warm spices. These come across as like more cold spice, leaning toward like the aromatic spicy side of things, but has more of an emphasis on say like a, a peppery sort of spice, if that makes sense to you. This one is great in the cold weather. I love wearing this when it's uh, fall time out, especially when it's raining. This complements my dressier attire in the rain wearing this fragrance here the fragrance just complements my attire perfectly and the uh the uh the, the the rain like i was saying a great fragrance that i absolutely love if you like the idea of spices blended with uh, lavender a little bit of oud and some other woods that i forgot to mention there definitely check out london by primera perfumes um one thing i failed to mention before is that, you know i said that bader launched his own website there are select fragrances on the website currently. As things progress and uh, the website grows, he's going to be adding more of his lineup into uh, in, into the uh, in, into the website. You can also in in the U.S. you can also find his fragrances at Max Aroma. All the details are going to be linked down below for you guys. Just making your life easier is all I'm trying to do here. The next fragrance is that oud that I was telling you about. It's a little funky, but it's amazing and it's lion oud so my good buddy rico i he has become one of my very good personal close personal friends he has a channel here on youtube called fragged out swagged out you know what i'm gonna link his channel below if you like channels that base their channel around more independent single reviews you'll love rico's channel but when we were at scent explorer he was like brother i've got to put you on the lion oud you're going to love it. It's amazing. So what Lion Oud is, is it's a woody perfume that utilizes Oud. It's potent Oud. You have to be a fan of Oud. Otherwise, you're not going to like this fragrance. The Oud here is pungent in a good way. Pungent meaning that it's it's strong. It's a potent ingredient within the fragrance. It has a darkness about a light smoky touch. It's a beautiful fragrance. And to contrast that, is a little bit of citrus, not too much, but there is a bright citrus tone about the fragrance. And then you have these gourmand elements like chocolate and caramel, perhaps even a touch of vanilla in here. This stuff is ungodly gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning and a joy to wear in the uh, in the fall and the winter time. I absolutely love lion oud number two and number one can really be interchangeable it depends on the day it depends on my taste for that particular day but this fragrance man I, I wanted to showcase this one first but my heart is telling me that my heart belongs to a, another fragrance here but this one is cigar oud i love this one now cigar oud 
is uh, is not on uh, Max Aroma's website, and if it is, it's sold out. And it, I noticed that it wasn't on his website, and I asked him about this, and I said, because, listen, guys and gals that love listening to me talk about tobacco fragrance, my audience is going to love Cigar Oud. Cigar Oud is going to come back. It's just going to take some time. He's just waiting for the, for the uh, juice to mature. So it's going to be about a month or so, maybe even a little bit later than that, but definitely this um, late fall, early winter will be available. This fragrance is un unbelievable. This blew me away. If you saw my first impression video, which was very, very long, if you saw my first impression video that I did with uh, this huge Primera haul that I received, oh, I was blown away by this. And I love it because it's a spiced tobacco, but the tobacco here is a little bit more on the damp side, it's not dry or anything like that. It's like you're prepping the tobacco to be used for cigar for um, cigars, but it's still hanging. It's waiting to to uh, to cure and to dry, and that's the way that it smells to me. Now, what I get from this, I'm not looking at any notes when it comes to uh, this top five list. Now, obviously, I did have notes for uh, the two fragrances that I was reviewing for you guys, but for this top five, I don't. And this fragrance always reminds me of honey. Like there's a honey in here. So it's almost as if you're prepping a cigar and drinking tea. I get a tea-like experience with this. It is a beautiful fragrance, and I kid you not, it is one of the best tobacco fragrances I have ever put my nose on. And I'm a lover of tobacco. I did a whole dedicated list to uh, tobacco fragrances. And if I was going to do that list currently right now, this would most definitely be in my top three. I love Cigar Oud. This stuff is amazing. And once again, it when it comes to performance, forget it. If I'm in the mood for this in the spring or summertime, I'm going one to two sprays. In the wintertime, I'll do like three or four, never above four. That's how potent these are. And that is Cigar Oud. Now, my favorite fragrance, and, and again, I said, this can go one of two ways, you know, depending on the day, it might be cigar, ooh, oh my God, I love that, or this fragrance. This fragrance was a love at first day. It literally took my breath away. This one is Smoky Jazz. If you were to say to me, listen, I like, you know, I, I like tobacco fragrances, but I don't know about tobacco forward fragrances, because Cigar Oud is isn't just about the oud. It is a tobacco forward fragrance. It really truly is. I would say Smoky Jazz, okay? If you are a tobacco lover, Smoky Jazz would definitely be, even with uh, La Dolce Vita being released, recently launched, I would even say Smoky Jazz because of the different nuances that you get. At times it's bright. It's got this honey, honeyed amber smell to it. And then there's the smokiness coming from um cigar but it, it has like this almost like this ashy ashy tobacco sort of smell to it you know and there's booze loads of it sweet booze though my favorite type of booze in perfumes i like sweet boozy um scents when it comes to boozy fragrances because i find them a little bit more um on the easier side like they're a lot more palatable for me. They're easier for me to enjoy. I don't have to wait for a transitional period to occur. Like um, Baraonda is somewhere behind me currently. Baraonda is a great boozy fragrance. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. But that first 15 to 20 minutes could be a little rough at times, depending. Smoky Jazz is super smooth. Super smooth. I know that when I go to spray this one on, I'm going to smell great. Better than anybody that I encounter throughout the day, throughout the evening, whatever the case is, but this is pretty much my date night signature scent. No matter what season it is, I absolutely love Smoky Jazz, and if there was one fragrance that I can recommend to you, if you were to say, Dave, I need one recommendation on a Primera Perfumes fragrance, this one takes the cake. I, when it, if, if you love boozy, smoky fragrances, and that's kind of your uh, your style, you're going to love this. This um, fragrance has a mass appeal factor about it without it being a blue or a, or a blue style fragrance or a freshie because it has sweetness, it has the smokiness, it has the boozy qualities. 
and it just screams fall and winter, like cold weather, you know? And uh, yeah, I absolutely love Smoky Jazz. I love all of these. I, I have uh, 12 bottles, 12 or 14 bottles of uh, Primera Perfumes fragrances. I hope that you guys took something from this review. I hope you enjoyed it and loved it. Don't forget to like, comment, share. I never talk about share. Share this video. Share this out. Show your friends, your neighbor, if their dog has a YouTube account, get them get him ready to go, man. He needs to find out what the heck is going on here today. I've uh, I, I've taken up enough of your time for uh, for today or this evening, whenever you're watching this. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take care. Peace.